Hi, welcome to Tech Ranch, a place where we learn and earn technical skills in the most efficient way. Let's make coding fun. Java coding exercise series 1, exercise 2, factorial. So in this session, we are going to share some information about factorial, logic and the concept behind factorial, calculation, solution with implementation and demonstration, and a practice for homework. Now let's see what is an actually a factorial. Factorial of n is the product of all positive descending integers. So factorial of n is denoted by n exclamatory. So in the simple words, if you see in mathematics, the factorial of a positive integer or a positive number, which is denoted by n, is the product of all positive integers, which is less than or equal to n or 1. The value of factorial is equal to multiplication of all the preceding numbers. Now to implement it, to understand it better with respect to the concept and the logic, let's take a look one by one. To understand the logic of factorial, it goes like this. The n is any positive integer. Suppose it is 5. So if n is equal to 5, that means the factorial of 5 is going to be computing like this, which is multiplied by n minus 1. Now n minus 1 is your 5 minus 1, which is equal to 4. Now 5 multiplied by 4 is equal to 20. Now this 20 is further is going to multiply by n minus 2 which is equal to 5 minus 2 and this 5 minus 2 is equal to 3. Now this 3 is going to multiply by 20. So as you can see this number 20 is basically accumulating your all other factorial computed numbers like 5 and 4. Now 20 is going to multiply by 3 and this is equal to 60. Now this 60 is going to next multiply by 5 minus 3 which is equal to 2 that is n minus 3. So it will keep going the series will keep going until that condition is true which is equal to 1. You can take a look at this it's further multiplied by n minus 4 which is equal to 5 minus 4 that is 1. Now once the 1 has reached that 120 is multiplied by 1 which is equal to 120. Now the factorial of 5 is equal to 20. So n is multiplied by n minus 1, multiplied by n minus 2, and multiplied by n minus 3, and it will go until it calculated 1. So this is how we compute the factorial. Now if you see in a graph, it will show you the behavior of this particular factorial logic how it provide you the presentation of its results so if you see the factorial n is here first value is 0 and factorial of 0 is equals to 1 so it start from 1 and when you increase the values of n it will increase exponentially so this is how if you point all these algorithm in a graph this will show you the behavior of a system now let's take a look at the flow chart factorial of n can be multiplied can be implemented in number ways so here this flow chart is taking a reference of recursion behavior recursion means self automated until the condition is true instead of creating other variables and values and methods or loops or while loops any other iter more iteration makes it more complicated so recursion will give you a feature to make it simplified and efficient system so recursion makes it call your method again until the condition true so here is my method starts from here factorial n n is any number any positive number 
and n is greater than equals to 1 the condition is true it will call that method with n minus 1 which are going to multiply it back to the factorial n and it will keep going unless the n is not equals to 1 once the condition is false it will exit so this is my factorial flowchart with reference of recursion. Now let's take a look at the implementation. How does it work? So here in this code you can see static is the keyword which helps the visibility of the return type of this method to the entire class. Integer is the return type of my method and the if integer n is my argument. Now when the compiler works and read this code it will start from the main method now here the pointer will go to the main method and make a space in memory for integer variable i and fact and assign it with one and number four is nothing but the number which the enter is going the user is going to enter or you can simply ass, uh, initialize it here so number four is means we are going to calculate the factorial for four or you can take an example of five now fact is equals to 1 here which is getting the value from the factorial method now from here pointer will go back to the factorial method now since it is has the return type which is visible to the main method because it is mentioned is a static now here if integer n the number user entered this integer is nothing but the argument from the user which is nothing but the 4 now 4 is equals to equals to 0 the condition is false so it will go to the else and else it will return n multiplied by factorial n minus 1 so 4 multiplied by 4 minus 1 factorial now it's again 4 n is still 4 now 4 is equals to equals to 0 which is false so it will go to the else and again it will calculate and 4 minus 1 3 which will go back to the loop uh, back to the method method and 3 is equals to equals to 0 which is false it will go to the else so this is how it will compute you can see here the compiler process recursion static factorial n is equals to 5 suppose it is 5 now 5 is equals to equals to 0 this is false return 5 factorial 5 minus 1 4 equals to equals to 0 factorial return 5 multiplied by 4 factorial 4 minus 1 now 3 equals to equals to 0 false 5 multiplied by 4 multiplied by 3 it is cumulating the multiplication and keep going in a series to multiply it until it reach 1 now once the n is equals to 1 equals to equals to 0 it's still false it will go back to the else again now this time 0 is equals to equals to 0 the condition is true and return 1 now this is how if the series will go and multiplied by 5 multiplied by 4 multiplied by 3 multiplied by 2 multiplied by 1 and return value 0 120 now this is with the help of the recursion process now you can do it with the help of the for loop for more and understand it better let's take a look in a demonstration this is my eclipse ide first thing first i'm going to open the java project and i'm java project inside the java project i can simply make a class file so this is my eclipse id and i'm going to make a class factorial and uh, first thing first for for loop i'm just making a simple method to make it simple and easy integer i for the loop which is equals which is and the number i for the loop and number is the value to return get it from the user and is the factorial calculation and fact equals to 1 so you don't have to initialize this we can just get the value from the user to get the value from the user we can use so many ways I am using here scanner
since it's showing error i can fix it with the help of my ide quick fix feature and uh, next step we need to get the value from the user to print the message enter value and uh, next we need to get the value and assign it in the number so we can take it like this next int now let's start making a loop equals to 1 and i is greater than equals to number the number which the user have entered and i incremented so there's so many ways this is one of the one which i am using here you can do it other ways too and just simple i can print the value factorial is factorial of number is Now since uh, this is all about the fact method, now next we need to call public static void name. Main method. And simply making an object of a class. Now let's take a look at the execution. So you can see factorial of 6 is 720. So what I'm doing here, I'm just uh, defined, I've just made a class, define a method map fact, define and initialized the variables i, number and fact, get the value from the user input with the help of the input scanner object and uh, get the reference variable from the scanner object using number and it the loop will go until the number is equals to or lesser than i and keep multiplying it and return the value get the value and uh, print the value of the factorial over here so this is the implementation of factorial using simple for loop you can do the factorial you can do the factorial implementation using do while loop while loop for each loop and many more other types of control statements and to understand the analysis of uh, this kind of factorial all you need to just execute it with the different values and point it in a graph and see how it shows you this will give you the result of the graph presentation so far we have done so this is all about the factorial implementation and demonstration in the next session we'll share you some information about prime number so stay tuned thank you so much for watching this video please make sure you subscribe our channel and press the bell icon to get the notification let's make coding fun thank you